um, sustainability stands there. So we've talked a lot about foreign investment, particularly Asian funds. And Walter mentioned the UK funds being fairly quiet. What's it going to take for them to come back to the table? Or is this an underlying shift? One of the things that I thought I was holding back is just the lack of pricing certainty and less, the lack of certainty in the economy. And until we get some hard data, some reliable data to base some judgments on, I think it's probably going to remain generally quiet. I think there's a lot of funds now that are starting to see money coming back into the funds, so we passed that little bit of the threshold. But perhaps you'd like to comment. And well, I think that you would be pretty clear nicely. I have not that much to add. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, a, it's always a, so that um, some of the very core investors who, who have has built their portfolios in the past, so and they have no reason to do anything immediately, so they, they just uh, sit on their hands. And, uh, and then uh, once the, the dust has settled down, or, um, or so then they can start to see the opportunities. But, but it depends upon if you are in the long-term play or if you are in the short-term play and all that. So we have been talking about this quite a bit. I think, I think too, there's, there's no forced sellers. I mean, there was a little bit of redemption pressure. There's a couple of unique deals, I think, that happened. But we don't have the leverage in the market like we used to have and all the rest. And uh, it's a bit like over in uh, prime assets over in Knightsbridge, uh, residential units. You can't get the price that you want. Just sit on it for another 10 years, as it were. And I think there's a, a bit of that that plays into it.